the biggest take-home message is that there is a real problem with harms being associated with do not resuscitate orders. So one of the things we did is we had focus groups. Uh, we also looked at complaints. We did a systematic review. And across all of these different modes of assessing what was going on, we found that there was an association with patients with DNA CPR orders getting worse care than those without them, or concerns that that was happening, but that was actually backed up in the evidence. So this isn't just that they were uh, not getting treatments which they shouldn't get, in other words, not that they were being over-treated, but actually that DNA CPR was being conflated with, let them alone, don't do anything for them. And that's perhaps because there's a great deal of misunderstanding about what a DNA CPR should mean. The positive side of things is that we have quite a good idea of what we should do going forward. And that is, we think we should have a national uh, form so that you can get rid of the variability across geographical regions. We think probably that form should have the resuscitation decision contextualized within other treatment decisions so that we can focus on which treatment should be given instead of just focusing on one treatment to be withheld. We think that those decisions should be considered early. And we think that by doing all of that, hopefully we can try and address the problems and think about resuscitation early, discuss it with patients in a good manner, implement it with some kind of consistency, and most importantly, address the problems with the harms.